The Clover dashboard has several features you may find beneficial to your office, such as reports, processing refunds, adding users, also known as employees, customizing permissions, adding your office logo, and the chargeback feature. The dashboard screen is going to give you a snapshot of today's transactions. Notice you can click on the dollar amounts listed under net sales and refunds. These will take you directly to the sales report within the reporting tab. If you click on the dollar amount under open authorizations, you will be taken to the authorizations within the transactions tab. Let's take a look at the reporting tab. The reporting tab is going to be your main information hub in the Clover dashboard. The date filter is useful if you would like to only see transactions for a specific date or a date range. You can also filter by employee or by device if you have multiple terminals in your office. On the rest of the page, you will see the sales summary for a selected period of time, as well as the top five tender types and card types. The sales summary will show you the collection amounts by hour, as well as the amounts of gross sales, refunds, and net sales. Clicking on the details link will take you to an in-depth report, which is also available on the left-hand side of your screen. Past information on transactions can be retrieved by using the requested reports tab. Here you can request reports on previous sales records, such as an annual report. Note these reports have a limit of 365 days in length. Once the report is available, you will receive a notification via email as well as on the Clover dashboard. To refund a payment, go to the Transactions section and select Payments. Scroll down to the bottom to see the latest transactions, or you can also search for a transaction that you are looking for. You can search by date and by employee. Once you find the transaction, click on the details on the right-hand side. This will bring up the details of the transaction. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page, you can click on the refund button and say yes to refund the transaction. Note that if you need to refund a PIN debit transaction or do a partial refund, these will need to be done via the terminal with the credit card information. Users on the Clover platform are called employees. The settings and permissions that each user is able to access are set by their role. You can customize the permissions for each role. You are able to create your own roles within the Clover dashboard and select permissions, or you can use the default roles that are already created. Under the Permissions tab, you can customize the permission for each role. If you would like to add your logo to your Clover dashboard, click on Account and Setup. Click on Business Information. Scroll down to Business Logo section. Choose your file and upload. In the event a patient disputes a charge on their credit card made at your office, you can use the chargeback feature to submit documentation or respond to the chargeback. Please note this feature is only visible if a dispute has been made. 